Right now it's October 2013. I am 37 years old. I'm five foot eight and I weigh over 450 pounds. When I go on an airplane, I'm the kind of the guy who walks on last. Everybody that has an empty seat next to him is like, <gasps> you know, and they find religion really fast because they're all praying that I don't have the seat next to them. After one year, it's like, wow, I put on all this weight. And then next thing you know, six years later, you're sitting there and you're like, wow, where did the time go and how on earth did I get this big? I've been at the end of my rope so often and so long that who I once was is just a faint memory to me now. That athletic, vibrant, healthy guy that I used to be, and it wasn't even that long ago. I've tried every diet. I've gone from one extreme to the other. I even went on a 55 day water fast, and naturally, all the weight that I did lose ended up coming back plus more, and I destroyed my metabolism in the process. Each and every time, it's the same story. And then that's when the hopelessness kicks in. I have dreams, I have ambitions, I want a future. I don't want to always be the fat guy who can't fit in a booth at a restaurant. I don't want to barely fit in my car and be able to drive. I don't want to be out of breath when I'm walking across a small parking lot. This is not who I want to be. This is not the real Kenny. I'm going to change my lifestyle, not by extremes, but by simplicity. And I've got to change more than just my weight. I've got to change me, my mentality. As I begin this journey, around my stomach is 76 inches. Okay, to get a grip on that, I'm five foot eight. I'm larger around than I am tall. And my waist under my belly is 65 inches. That's my pant size. It's a harsh reality to admit and to recognize that 60% of my entire body is purely fat right now. When I finish this transformation, I will literally be half the man I used to be. So I reached out to a friend of mine, John Jubilee. He's a fitness expert. He's trained celebrities, high-powered executives, and just everyday people. I've known John for years, and I've known that this is what I needed, but I kept getting in the way of me. And finally, I picked up the phone, and I called John and just laid it all out for him. Well, Kenny, I, you know, I, I honor you for picking up that phone and giving me the call. And can you just tell me what was going through your mind? What was going through your mind when you decided to call me and say, John, I, I'm ready to do this? I obviously know I'm overweight. I know I'm obese. I know I'm a big guy. And uh, it's one of those things in my mind I kept almost like creating excuses for myself to delay. You know, I've had a thousand Mondays pass, and I'm always like, oh, I'll start on Monday. And then if I even do start a, a diet on a Monday, it lasts two or three days, and then I'll, you know, I'll binge. At the same time, I'm also tired of who I've become as far as this weight. I, I can't do any of the things I enjoy anymore. I just, I want to better myself. I'm, I'm 37 years old. I'm about to I'm I'm about to hit 40 years old and here I've lost I've lost pretty much my entire 30s I've lost to fat you know mm -hmm. I mean almost almost every single year of my 30s I've lost to fat All the obstacles in my life the things that I used as excuses I'm now turning them around and making them stepping stones because this is my last chance. This is something that I've got to do. I've got to make it. I've got to do this. Because if I don't do it now, then I never will. I've decided to document this entire journey to a new me. Not because I'm really fond of exposing my vulnerabilities, my failures, my weaknesses to total strangers, or even worse, people I know or people I used to know. 
it, it's not easy putting it out there for the whole world to see. Honestly, it's embarrassing and it's humiliating. But I want to use my journey to bring hope to others who are like me. Those who feel ashamed like me. Those who have felt hopeless like I have. Who've tried it all and failed like I have. Who've given up on themselves like I have. I want to give you hope. A hope that you don't have to give up. You don't have to listen to the lie that you tell yourself that you're never going to change. Because if I can do it, you can do it. Trust me, anybody can do it. So the time for excuses is over. This is not going to be an easy road, but it's going to be an honest one. There's no surgeries, there's no enhancement drugs, nothing like that, none whatsoever. It's going to be all natural and completely done in front of the eyes of the world. So I invite you to follow me on my personal journey, day by day, week by week, month by month, as I move ahead, as I go, and I transform my entire life from what it is to what it's supposed to be. Better yet, what it can be. You are my motivation. You are my inspiration. Your support and encouragement means everything to me and is what I need to really keep me going on this journey. I'm putting myself all out there because I want to see change in my life, but I want my change to be a catalyst for change in others and to bring them hope. You're going to transform from the inside out. You're going to be the best you you've ever been. We're going to get rid of that fat. We're going to build muscle. You're going to see what your true genetic blueprint is. I am Kenny Sayers, and today I've made the decision that my weight does not define me anymore. The transformation begins now. This is the reinvention of Kenny.